So let's look at this problem that we see quite frequently within accounts payable or invoicing scenarios. A lot of times um, customers will have a big problem with receiving invoices and needing, needing to get them through the right channels and gather the right information and move them through an approval process to adequate, adequately pay the invoice on time um, and make sure the right level of visibility um, is seen within those invo invoices, especially higher dollar amount invoices. So let's first start off by looking at some of these invoices. So I have a PDF uh, document out here with six pages in it. There, this is actually a collection of a number of invoices. So you can see I see um, some invoices here. This is a you can see this is page one of two. So this is actually a multi-page invoice. Um, there's um, you know an invoice here for seventeen hundred dollars. So it's a little more, a little higher um, um, invoice amount. And basically. A lot of times, you know, there's a lot of different ways invoices can get into the organization. One common way is through email. So let's go ahead and uh, start by attaching that invoice document into our email. So I'm just going to send a uh, send an email off here to uh, this this demo account. I'll say. Please process and pay my invoices. You know, something simple. Um, and I'll just ship that off here. So I've actually, what I've just done is email those invoices into an invoice or an email box that's being monitored by Episoft Transact or Episoft Software. And what will happen is we'll take those invoices and start pulling them out and, and recognizing information off of the invoices. So let's kind of look at that next step here. So now that we've um, sent those invoices off um, into, uh, into Episoft, they're going to really kind of examine the the next item here, which is uh, the bo box.com, or this is really the repository where we're going to store the invoices here. So just to kind of show you things here ahead of time, there's no um, uh, invoices in the system quite yet. Um, we haven't made the, their way through the process, but we have invoices, a folder here called waiting for approval. Um, we have approved invoices and we have um, denied invoices, so, you know, so we can actually route different things through these different folders. So let's kind of examine how that happens. So um, now that we've sent our, our invoices off into, um, into, F, into Episoft, we basically have a lot of data extraction and quality checks that, that occur, and we look for information and if the information that we're trying to pull off like invoice number or invoice date or any of these if this key business information that's required um, for the business process if we have any uh, exceptions we can examine those exceptions uh, quickly and efficiently through Episoft Transact so what I'm going to do is um, go view my batches essentially when we pull things from the from the email, we put it into a batch of work, um, and this one here is happens to be the batch that I was working through. So you can see when I open this batch of invoices, it actually takes me to the the fourth document uh, in the batch, and if I scroll up, you can see I have my email uh, correspondence here that I sent in with that email as well as a separate document. And I have all the individual invoices here as well. And Episoft was smart enough to merge two page invoices together, but while separating out um, the other invoices. So in this case here, um, the system was rec recognized everything correctly and accurately. And you can see that with the green 
um, lines to the left of the documents. Uh, this one has a red line next to it that's basically showing, uh, you know, we couldn't find that invoice number. It looks like someone has spilled a little bit of coffee here on their invoice. So I can actually quickly and easily um, enter in that invoice number and my exception goes away and I can move move ahead in the process. Before I do though, I just wanna show a couple things where we can pull out the invoice date here. So you can see this is the um, uh, you know date that we're pulling out. Uh, the invoice amount is here as well. Uh, and wh whenever I click into these fields, uh, you'll see that it'll highlight in yellow uh, of where we're pulling that data from. You can see we're also solving for the vendor number. You know, we can uh, integrate into a company's accounting system and look at um, their vendor master table and their vendor list and solve for their vendor number that they have in their accounting system uh, there as well. So we can um, basically go ahead and validate this. You know, there's really only one field there that we need to correct. The rest of the information looks pretty good. So we'll say OK, and I'll move to my next batch, which isn't part of this demo. And now, basically, what we've done is we've exported the, those, those invoices um, out into, into Box. And what's going to happen is once those invoices hit into Box, it's going to actually trigger a workflow with Nintex. So this is actually my Nintex workflow here. Um, when, a, when a new file comes into Box, I'm going to get some metadata. Um, I'm going to evaluate if the invoice dollar amount is above $1,500 or not. And if it is above um, $1,500, um, I'm going to go um, through an approval task or approval um, workflow here that you can see and we can either reject or approve an invoice. If it's below $1,500, I'm just going to move it to the approved folder. So let's go look at this. Um, we should see our invoices coming in now. So here's um, a few invoices are actually coming into the system as, as we speak here. And these are all the different invoices and we've kind of made a very uh, standard naming convention. So this is the a vendor na name with a vendor number um, as with some uh, document tracking information there as well. And so I can actually um, go and look at these documents and uh, look at some of the metadata that Ephesoft's captured. So we see the amount and the invoice number and vendor name that we're actually tagging as metadata um, with that information. So now that our workflows have triggered, um, let's go and look at some uh, different folders here. So under the improved invoices, you can see all these invoices, these four invoices have been moved to the approved folder automatically uh, because their invoice amount is lower than the 1500. Um, and if I go back out, you'll see um, there's nothing in the denied folder. But if I go back to my email, you can see I have an email waiting for me uh, talking about this Hertz equipment rental um, and that it um, is needing a, an approval for, 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 from a user uh, to approve this high dollar invoice to be paid. Um, so I can actually hit, um, I could go look at this file if I needed to by clicking that link. It'll take me right into the um, box file there. Um, if I wanted to, I could just reply to this email and just simply reply with uh, reject. And that will actually continue my workflow um, on the Nintex side to continue these um, these invoices are this particular invoice through the through the entire process. So if I go and um, look for the, the denied and refresh things here, and you can see that um, the the rental is here, the Hertz rental invoice is here in the denied folder. 
So that's just a quick look to you, uh, kind of an end-to-end -end process of how you can really streamline a business process like an uh, invoicing uh, AP scenario um, with um, these three powerful tools, Episoft, Box, and Mintext.